there are some kinds of filters, if you push water too fast, it'll break the filter. This one won't break. Right, if you connect it to a fire hose, maybe the outside, the plastic outside will come apart. But like like to a high pressure fire truck. But the filter the filter inside won't separate and allow bigger things to come through. <laughs> Um, this 0.1 size will take out all parasites and all bacteria from the water and dirt and everything like that. Um, the only thing it doesn't take out is some viruses. But that's norm normally not a problem unless you're filtering water for a hospital or medical things. The other thing it doesn't take out is, um, let's say, um, uh, uh, dissolved things like pesticides. This won't take pesticides out of the water. It won't take chemi it won't take hmm. it won't take chemicals from from the field out of the water. Um, but so it's the it's the chemicals like the pesticide or factory chemicals things like that and some viruses you can take out. We could very, very easily and very safely use this to clean the water in the stream back there and drink it all day, every day. Really, absolutely. Now we have a Yeah. It'll go in here brown and it'll come out here clear like like, like drinking water. And I won't I won't bother showing with this. We'll do we'll, another time we'll do we'll, we'll do some tests. Yeah. And um with a smaller bucket. So you guys can taste it all. This is what I use in my house. I use the I use the city water from the pipe and and filter with this, and this is what I drink in my house. So the pump system is really easy. How many of you have seen have seen a house being built here? Not the piping. How, how many of you have seen a house being built? Yeah. Okay. You know how they make the floor so that it's flat with the plastic tube with water from one side to the other? Yes. Fold it up and the, the, even if the part of the tube is over there and part of it's over there, the water will stay flat. What happens if you put one side of the tube down too far? If, if, if you put one side down too far, all the water comes out. Um, that's how this works. That's how this system works. There's no pump. 
It just works because water goes down. And we're going to set this up and you'll see exactly how that works. First, I'll show the parts of this. Here's a sticker. I'll, we'll, we'll talk about how to clean this in just a moment. This sticker will go on here so people can see how to clean. This is a tube that comes with it. It's too short, and you'll see why in just a moment. This tube comes with it, but we're not going to use the tube in setting this up. Because it's not, you'll see, you'll see in just a moment. Syringe, if you need a lot of morphine. <laughs> No, this is for cleaning it, and I'll show you that in just a moment. This part. This. Okay. So first, the back of the package has pictures and English words that tell you how to set this up already. So, yeah. This system is made to be as easy as possible to set up all over the world so that as many people as possible can understand. So if anyone wants to look at one of the bags while I'm talking about this, so you can see the pictures at the same time, that's fine. So, first thing, don't take this white cap off. This white cap is keeping this clean. Right here is where the clean water comes out. We want to keep that clean. If you, if you get that dirty, then yeah. Uh, if you do like that, then when you try and drink clean water, you'll be drinking poop. It doesn't matter how good the filter is. If this is dirty, your water is dirty. So, keep this on. This gray piece with the little thing with the little thing sticking up. That goes in the other side. You don't need tools, you just do it with your hand until it's tight. So I'll show with this tube first, and then I'll show why. That just fits on there. Make sure it's white. This. See that it has another post, another thing sticking out. Xing San, Xing San, can you stand on the other side? Okay. That goes on like that. We're going to drill a hole in here in just a moment. You take one of these white rubber things. You see how it's flat on one side and angle on the other? Okay. You put the flat side against here. Oops.
then this will go in the hole. This part will go through the hole. This one, again, the flat side facing that way now. It will go, the, the angle side goes against the bucket. From, from inside the tank? From inside the tank. Okay. I'm just demonstrating one time and then we'll put it together because it's, it's difficult to see when we're actually going inside the tank. Mm. So the tank is here. Push this tight against the inside. We take this black nut. And screw like that. And you just do it as tight as you can on the inside. And these white ones, they make a seal so no water comes out of the hole. That's, that's the basic thing. It'll go here. Now, remember what I said about about the, the, the water coming out when the pipe is low. So if my water is here, it's going to come out here. Once this gets above, once this end here, gets above the water level, it turns off. Aaron, can you move a little bit this angle? Okay. So once this gets above whatever the water level is, the water stops coming out. Once it goes back below the water level, in the bucket, the water starts coming out of here again. So, this tube, if I have it here, and I fill this water up to here, what will happen to the water? Hmm? It yeah, push the pipe down. Mm -hmm. If the water is here and this is here, the water will continue to come out of here until the water gets to the same level as this. Once it's at the same level, it'll be like measuring for the house. And once it's at the same level, it'll stop. So that's why we get this too. You can make it as long as you want. Okay. It just needs to fit on there like that. Okay, we'll show this now. Isaiah, do you want to... This drill bit, this bit, comes with in the package. You can do it by hand, but it takes a long time. Aww. So I, I don't want to take all that... There you go, there's the drill bit. I don't want to take that time. So, I. Here we go. I'm, yeah, yeah. This is gonna this is gonna be difficult for me because I'm left-handed. <laughs> Parallel to so my. So we don't want it all the way side. at the bottom. We want it a little bit up no, off the bottom. The reason, if it's all the way at the bottom, so if you put brown water in here, the the mud will slowly come out. 
and fall and come to the bottom. And if I put the hole all the way at the bottom, the mud will start coming into the tube very quickly. If I put it up a little bit, the mud can build up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So, what I do is I take the drill bit and measure up just a little bit like that. Just right about there. Yeah. It doesn't matter about exactly. Okay. So about about an inch to an inch and a half. Okay. Wow. Number two night, two night. Okay. Get the plastic bits out. Hi, Mason. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have. It's good to have a knife to clean the clean this up a little bit because the. The, the drill leaves some plastic sticking off, and if this if this plastic here sticking out, if it stays, it'll make it more difficult for this to not leak. Have a child get inside the bucket. <laughs> so what what your other hand is doing right now? Uh, my uh, my my hand inside is putting the the rubber on the inside and then putting the nut to screw in. I'll screw it on. This is not moving. It shouldn't leak. <laughs> it kills my finger. So the short all of it can be by we can use whatever, right? Mm -hmm. 
You could have it this long if you want. But remember that when you when you're opening it, it just hangs. So if you have it this long, it'll be sitting on the ground. So right about here so that it can hook on here. Yeah. That will go like that, and that can hook like that. Wouldn't you get a lid there? So, right now, if the water filled up to here, will it come out here? No. no never. Okay. <laughs> here, it starts coming out. Here, here it comes out faster. Here it comes out faster. The reason is this opening, the farther away from the water surface this opening gets, the faster the water will come out because it's going down farther downhill. Because of the gravity. That's right, that's right. So, if this is from here to here, that's about 1.5 meter. If the water is filled up here, it'll come out the fastest when it's down there. But if you're using the large bottles, do we do it here? Would you grab one of these? Uh, the large bottle. Because we can use those two. These are not large. Oh. Oh. We want to do like put this about this high. Oh, the ghetto is why you bump it together. Otherwise, and you, it, it'll work like this because this is still below the water here, but it'll go fastest if this is up here. So say the, the, the pipeline is as straight as much as possible? Yes, it, it's, it's, you wanna have as much distance between the surface of the water and the opening of the filter as possible. That'll go the fastest. Now, we set up a much smaller bucket with this short tube in cow market, two of them. I hadn't studied this when we did that. So I, I, I trusted the, the, the trainer, and she didn't do much training, but I trusted that, and, and the people, and they said, oh, this, this setup, this filter is only good for one household. It's because with the small bucket and the short tube, it moves slowly. This 
will produce enough clean water every day to easily supply 100 people. Uh, Isaiah, how long, do you remember how long does it take to fill up one of these from ours? Uh, when, when we first got it and set it up, it uh, took uh, 16 to 20 minutes. And now? Uh, now it needs cleaning, so it takes uh, uh, longer? twice as long. Okay. Twice as long, I'm going to clean it yeah. soon. So our, we have one that's a little bit smaller than this. So this size, it'll take about 15 minutes to fill this bottle. How much water, how many people, uh, 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 how do I want to say this? Five. How many people can this supply, what this bottle be for, for one day? It depends on people who drink water. If people are drinking enough, it's about three three liters per day for a woman, four liters per day for a man. General. And so this is 20 liters. That's for all of their drinking water for the day. So 20 liters divided by three and a half. Yeah, so it's five or six, between five and seven people. That's for adults, children take less. And so, if you say five people per day, it's for all their water for the day, all their drinking water for the day. Uh, if they're drinking what, they're, what they should, most people don't. But in 15 minutes, you get all the water for five people for a whole day. And so if you have, if you have a hundred people, if you have a hundred people, how long will it take to fill up the bottles for them? Yes, please. If you have 100 people, it takes 15 minutes to get the water for five people. How long does it take to get the water for 100 people? Yeah. So it takes about five hours to fill up for 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 a hundred people. That's if they're drinking how much water they're supposed to. So it takes time, people need to take turns, there needs to be a little bit of organization in the community if you're going to do a hundred people. So how often have to clean this basket? When it's dirty. When it's dirty. What about once a week? It depends on the water. If you're putting very, very dirty water with a lot of mud, this will fill up with mud slowly, slowly. But what about your family? This uh, so that's the bucket. The bucket usually doesn't need to be cleaned unless it gets mud in it. But the filter needs to be cleaned when it starts letting the water come out more slowly. Mm. 
The sticker that goes that goes with this uh, shows different ways to clean the filter.
This this doesn't work with all bottles. But I think I think it'll work with a Coca-Cola bottle or a surprise bottle. That is so we're gonna wash it, take that off, take this off. You fill the bottle with clean water, and then you can screw the bottle onto here and just squeeze the bottle instead of many of these. Oh, uh, um, that's for cleaning, right? For cleaning. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you just need to use the right kind of bottle and the answer. No, this one no, doesn't so they I, yeah, I think the Coca-Cola bottles, Sprite bottles, soda bottles, I think uh, those work. Like 12 by size, 12 or 15. Or the big, they're the same, they're the same list. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Yanhi. Like that. So that size. And fill the first. First, fill it with clean water. Take it off. So tight and, and squeeze that so the clean water comes back up. Okay. There's that indicates on the instruction to focus. There you go. Focus. Let me focus. Put the lid back on. Screw it back in. And it's like brand new again. So this this system here can give clean water for a hundred people for a community of a hundred people for <coughs> for ten years. How many years? Ten years. Ten. It's a good deal. If you know how to use it. It's not hard to use, it's not hard to set up, but if you don't know it, it doesn't make sense. Now again, <coughs> should I set this up on the ground? Mm. No. 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 Why not? Because you don't have water pressure. Water pressure, that's right. No, no pressure. pressure. Someone come here and, and, and uh, uh, turn the water on. Joseph, come here and turn the water on. Show me how to turn it on. Turn the water on. Come here and turn the water on. How do you show me how you turn the water on? Perfect. <laughs> and the water will come even if that lid is on. And yeah, even even if this lid is on, the water will come. No, 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 no. It will come out. It will still come out. From here, this doesn't seal 100%. Oh, the yellow, that's whatever. It'll still come out. It'll, still come, it'll, it'll leak if you leave it down like that. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. 
，阿妈滴路菜路鲜咯，二斤不食。我二斤不老了，过了不要都不要嘞，现在叫妈妈用，太大了。你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，你生呀，